Hello, my name is Jordan, and I'm with Skip, the coder of Mindscape version Hello. 2. And also play.gameslabs.net, as you can see at the top. He owns it, runs it. Everyone knows by now, I'm sure. So <laughs> this is Mindscape version 2. Is it in beta now, can we say? Yeah, we can it's still alpha. beta. Okay. Yeah. It's, I don't know if it's it's open or not. Um, it is closed, yeah. It's, it's clo closed, closed to VIPs, is it? Yep. And all YouTubers. Okay, so basically, we're showing the tutorial island, the new quest system, how this works, and the new tutorial island. If anyone watched our old series, then they'd know. And then we've got a numerous amount of other videos coming out after this in the, the coming days of stats and things and all the epicness. So, as you can see now, like, Bob, hey, and welcome to Mindscape. Before showing you my favourite skill, I'd like to see some quest features with you. Show. See some quest feet. Okay, whatever. Let's start with some basics. Uh, interact uh, left. Uh, clicking says yes. No is right clicking. So I click left click, obviously. Do you get why I say yes? Now let's continue with the woodcutting skill. Here's wooden axe. Go cut down a tree. So you can go over to the tree and press on it once and it will mine for you the whole time. And I'm level 2 in woodcutting now. I think that's because... Uh, has my player dot dot been saved or just? Yeah, I I only reset the quest. Yeah, so it's it's not a problem, obviously. Yeah. So there you go. It would cuts for you like it would in Minecraft, um, RuneScape even, uh, which is pretty awesome. And you can see like the slow down effect, and uh, things don't stack like wood and that because you've got the inventory slots and just like RuneScape, it wouldn't stack. So it means that you're limited on space. So now that I've completed that quest, I go and talk to uh, Bob, and he talks about fire making. So I have the tinderbox. Boom, boom, boom. And I now just need to basically make a tinderbox uh, fire. So I right click on the floor. As you can see, it gets rid of one of the wood. Because it costs a wood to make the fire. So he goes, there you go. You can now talk to John. He's near the fishing spot. So basically, uh, Skip, you said that each log is going to become a longer fire. So yeah, if you were to create a uh, a fire it would first of all check the the wood types you have in your inventory take the better one if you can use it and the fire will stay longer if you are using an advanced type of tree basically that's so that's just like the fire thing in uh what that's awesome what's the what's the one with the melons or is it just to chest test it for this point um yeah that's just to talk about the cooking thingy Okay, it but is. it's not imp implemented yet because you're not done cooking. No, it is. Uh, it's. Oh no, it was for the farming skill. My bad. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the farming's not implemented yet. Is that it? No, it is. It is. Oh right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, welcome to my kitchen. I would like to show you how to cook some food. Here, take this raw chicken. So I've got raw chicken now, and I know how to make the fire because you make it with a tinder box and that. So you right click on the floor, you make a fire. Right click the raw chicken into the fire, and as you can see, a cooking bar comes up. Uh, so I can put in like cooked, ch make cooked chicken, and boom, there you go, it's cooked it, and there's cooked beef, cooked sheep, and <laughs> things like that. And they all give XP, which you can see there, and required level to actually use them. So then I get, you gotta eat, the food will make you recover some health. So I'm full health now already, but usually you, l you lost like half a heart before you start. So that's that part. Um, this is more like a tutorial, but it's also sort of showing off the quest system, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I... basically, for example, when you cut down a tree or something like that, like the quest will realize that you cut down the tree, and it will advance to the next step. And that's that's shown later on with archery. You yeah. literally fire an arrow, and it goes, "Yeah, you've done it. Congratulations! It is amazing." So mm -hmm. you will now discover some advanced skills in the up incoming mine. Now, this is literally like my favourite part. I think this is... Yeah. Everything's refined, but this one works the best because it uses the most sort of awesome things at once, if you get me. Yeah. And we'll see in a second. So, my name is Ulrich and I'm a pro miner. I'm here to present you the main feature of the mining and smithing skill. So, go and mine some tin, which is the black ore. Now, we do have... Oh, God. We do have a texture pack coming out. So, apologies, it's not on this video, but tin will be coal and uh, redstone ore will be copper um, we've been in the works with one with a guy behind the scenes and um, we have decided that maybe the runescape texture pack isn't the best for it so it to be like looking um, what jimmajig uh, looking like the normal texture pack just with the upgraded textures that we need so it will make it look better yeah. so 
the quest changed there if you notice and it said now you can do the same with the other um, ore so that's what I did and I now have two copper and two tin which you can see they're renamed as well everything's renamed to bronze hatchet, oak wood, obviously right okay so in Mindscape in order to make tools or weapons you'll need to smelt the ores into bars so you right click on here and the smelting thing comes up I've already shown this in one before but I just think it's amazing <laughs> so click the bronze bar and boom it's made a bronze bar and click another one boom two bronze bars all right now check on the anvil and make a bronze dagger so you can go onto the smithing on the anvil click on smith bronze items and you can see like a huge array of items is here like all the bronze ones and i can make a bronze dagger boom and boom i made two if you have any more questions about the skill or any other you can ask the players some guys or guys in towns you can now talk to merrick so i'm gonna wait for skip Oh, let's see what the merchant's got. Is it all like the... No oh, just yeah, it's in, in case if you die. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's one, fair enough, because... One sec. Okay, I'm going to wait for you, Skip. Well, you, you could... Yeah. I don't know what <laughs> happened there, but... Oh, you're hopefully. level 119 as well. Yeah. What went on there, Skip, you cheater? Um, I don't know. Maybe I <laughs> cheated all... all? <laughs> hey, I'm Merrick, the dragon escape survivor. I'm here to show you the main combat system, including the attack and defense skills. Let's begin with the mobs. Most of the monsters are neutral. They'll only attack you if they do. Alright, use your bronze dagger to kill a rat. So there's a rat, which is a silver fish. It's got level 1 next to it. And if you attack something higher level than yourself, you are screwed in this game. Oh, so yeah. don't. And here we go. Boom. A loot bar appears. And this uh, gives you like the things that you can get from the actual um, mob. So I got a bone and five coins. But... I believe the coin system's been upgraded, so I don't know whether that just lost in my inventory. For... So basically, you click the coins, and it went boom in your virtual bank. So if you, took, okay. if you type, type slash money now, you should have some money. Five. I've got five money. There you and go. that clears out your chat bar, which is amazing, because now you can only see the money. Yeah. So I'll do that one more time, just for everyone to check. Unless Oh, level three in defense. going to friggin' die in a sec. Jesus. <laughs> right. So five coins, boom, and a bone. You... I don't know what happened to the bone. I don't know whether I stacked it accidentally. In it, but oh no, I dropped it. There we go. Okay, so now I do slash money again. Ten money. Boom. So that's that's uh, the looting system. I think that's absolutely amazing. The looting system, and uh, that means that you just you can get money by doing anything. Pick up the money and then sort it. Also, yeah. um, uh, what is it? You can't eat cooked chicken, by the way, because your health's. Oh. Oh yeah, it's... because you don't have a higher cooking level. You, oh no, you no, no I did higher. eat it. I did eat it. It just was on the ladder. It went a bit laggy or boot, um, glitches. Oh, okay. Um, also, when you die, apparently you lose five percent. Yeah, off your money. Yeah. Five percent of your money. So, basically, don't die. Oh no, I didn't continue on Merrick. Ah. Oh. He says, "Hey, smiley face." And I no. and I follow you, and I did the same mistake. <laughs> oh man. Uh, we oh crap oh, I only lost like a heart yeah right? yeah it will the 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 damage you would take by falling will be calculated with your agility skill oh okay soon there we go blimmin heck. um so what's what's going on with the agility because in the last game the XP bar was agility sprint yep has that been taken out and implemented with something new or is that going to hmm. be the case? I think it's going to be like that and um I need to think about something more. Yet, yeah, but it okay. will be like double jump or some stuff like that. And also, how many stats are there going to be? We'll we'll ask this. I'll ask this quite a few times. But yeah. um, if you go, if you type slash age, that's all the stats I want to add. That you've added at the moment, or you need to add? Well, I've added like more. Oh no! Of it them. says an inter internal error occurred, but there's only like six. Six, nine, ten stats at the moment. One, two, three, four, five. But oh, an internal error occurred, so there is oh, yeah. more. Because we know type, that there's range. Type again, slash H, maybe. H A. Oh no, no, slash H. Um, <laughs> I will need to. Oh well, no problem. Just but there is, yeah. there is more. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so what Steve was saying. Uh, hey, I'm Steve. Making my money in Mindscape is very important. But before that, storing money is even more important. In almost every time town you will be able to store your valuables in a bank. So this bank is an actual ender chest, which is pretty awesome. So I'm just going to stick some bones in for the for the 
the hell of it. And you can see that there. And also in any town you go to, that will now be the same with your bank. So that's amazing because you can just store things wherever you want. And bada boom. So if we're moving on to the next one. Uh, prayer's going to be in here apparently. I don't think yeah, it will, it. yeah. Is there anything else going to be in here? Because you've still got ranged and magic, prayer and magic. Yeah. But in, in RuneScape, the magic is in this last building over here. So maybe range and magic should be in this last building. Yeah, then they will yeah. be, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Here we go, he's here this time. Yesterday we had to like wait and he just randomly appeared. <laughs> so, oh my god, it's doing hay. Oh my god, did, did we? See, it was easy. You can now go talk to Albert. He's in the building after the church. Let me fly over. Um, Albert. Oopsie. <laughs> this worked yesterday. Yeah. Go, so, go, go, go. Um, do you have to go through the church to get there? Or have we done like a... Maybe, oh, maybe... Maybe Steve doesn't like us. Yeah! Got over. Ha, screw you, church. Uh, let me TP you. Just talk to him oh, again, cheers. I guess. Because I added something else about the slash money, and I think I messed up that part of the Oh, thing. yeah, yeah, okay, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it says go talk to Albert now, but there's one more thing he's got to say. Yeah. Okay, this is why it's in beta. We're basically checking it <laughs> as we're showcasing it. But uh, apologies and all, but... Oh, there we go, sweet cheers. Yep. Albert! Hey, I'm Albert. I'm here to present your favourite skill, archery. In Mindscape, you can use different bows and different arrows. You can even combine the diff the types to do different damages. Here, take this bow. Here, take these arrows. Now try and shoot an arrow. <laughs> well, that's pretty much what uh, you need to know. If you have more questions, feel free to ask them to some players. You can also find some guys in town. So I click on him again. Talk to you later. And we're on. Uh, we're in Lumbridge at the spawn. Where you will spawn every time you now join if you log off here, I guess. And um, yeah, so that's the tutorial island of the updated uh, Mindscape version 2. Coming soon. Uh, no exact release date yet. Everything's got to be refined, and there's behind the scenes music being worked on, art, uh, texture pack. So Skip's doing an amazing job. So <laughs> please go play Games Labs as well. Friggin' amazing. Is there anything else that you want to say towards the end? Get ready for Mindscape. <laughs> Prepare <laughs> yourselves. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.